here with Hazel today. Hazel's a little five month old pit mix, uh, mixed with lots of things. Um, so we, she is here for her two week board and train and we are just gonna tighten up some of her obedience. She's a fun loving little puppy. Um, and as her parents would describe, she's 90% angel and only 10% bad. So they just want to fix the 10% bad things and then they can enjoy her to the fullest. So her biggest issues with her are just basic puppy things. Um, she likes to jump up on people. She's very nippy. Uh, she's ripped some clothes and she rips at hair and stuff. Um, <laughs> you're so cute. Uh, your basic puppy stuff. So you can see she's gonna jump now because I talked to her. Um, a little nippy. And she also digs. She likes to eat everything. She doesn't come when called. Uh, and her obedience just isn't as solid as the family would like. So let's see what she knows here on day one. Hazel, come. Wow, good. Hazel, sit. Good girl. Okay. So she knows sit, clearly. She, we're just going to build her stability so she stays in the command. Hazel, heel. Just a basic puppy. Hazel, come. Good. Sit. Good. Down. 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 <laughs> Not without me, baby. <laughs> okay. So she doesn't knock down, so she does have a pretty good command of sit. She just needs to have some stability. Hazel, place. She's gonna fly through our program, um, and we're just really gonna build her stability here. Right, Hazel. Oh! <laughs> so again, it's really just gonna be about stability for her, making her a little puppy brain, remember to focus, uh, and join us back in two weeks to see where Hazel's at.
right, so why did you bring Hazel in for the two-week board and train? Because we wanted to have a trained dog that we could take out and feel confident when we were walking her that she wouldn't get distracted, she wouldn't jump up on little kids, she wouldn't go chasing after other dogs. And we didn't have all the time we felt was necessary to train her. So we thought this was a good way to get her the basics and then for us to pick up and do the training afterwards. Awesome. So what do you think after her two weeks? Night and day different. <laughs> Unbelievable. She is doing commands that were we didn't even have the ability to do before. In two weeks, she's really uh, unbelievable difference in how receptive she is to commands and how well she responds to everything. I mean, it's pretty impressive. I just hope we can keep it up now that we've got the turnover here. Awesome. You will. She's a good girl. And what did you think of the daily updates? We liked them. It was always good. As a matter of fact, we, we like lived for them. Yeah. Exactly. <laughs> and then every once in a while, we'd be like, Wait, what time is it? Shouldn't we have gotten something by now? So yeah. Or we'd be out with friends and we'd like stop the conversation and watch our dog video. Yeah, no, it was great because you start to miss the dog and it's always good to connect with the videos and stuff. So it was great. Awesome. And would you recommend off leash canine training to your friends and family? Yeah, yeah I would. Absolutely. Yeah, definitely. I mean it's impressive because we saw her when we dropped her off and we knew where she was, which was a little stubborn, I would say is the word. And then uh, we saw at the one week point and we're like, gosh, I don't know if she's going to make it. And then at the end, she's, you know, as, as we give the commands and do it, she's doing it. So yeah, I would recommend it to anybody. Awesome. And the thing that's nice about it is I've heard of a lot of other ones that are much longer. And I tell you, it's not so easy to be without your dog for longer than a couple of weeks so it's great that you guys could do it so fast of course awesome well thank you i'm mm -hmm. sure hazel's tired here and she will enjoy mm -hmm. going home with you guys mm -hmm.